Hi everybody, good afternoon. It's Alex, this is the RC here at Brisk. Um, back with another tutorial for our earrings. These are what we're gonna make in this video here. So we have some leather fringe there and we have a um, wood bead and then just crystal beads and then some silver in there and I use gold and this will be the same as um, just giving different ideas and inspiration for the kits that will be going out with this and that's the healing and wellness and CRC partnering together to deliver these so I just made this one um, so bear with me it's like trial and error with this um, but it's just kind of like what I could find and um, as in like the leather part of it usually you would because I just had tied it like if you can if you notice there I just tied it um, but they do actually have like clasps that you can like pinch the leather and it looks just a little bit more appealing but this is just kind of a fast kind of idea and working with what I have here so I have my wood bead I have all my beads already set out I have my wood bead I have my blue beads I have my silver parts I have I'm gonna be using I'm gonna be using the ones with the hole at the bottom right and then I just have my gold fish hook that I'll be using. So I'm going to use gold this time. And that's out of those boxes. It just came in here and it's just what I could find. And then I just had this container here of different beads for the bone bracelets. And so I just grabbed one of those. And same thing with the silver. This is where I pulled those out from. These are from Amazon. And then um, I just had a stack of these too. Just pulled out of there. Okay, I'm gonna take a drink really quick of my coffee and then we'll get to it. Okay, so starting off, we're going to do the same process. This right here is our top. So this is where our hook will attach. So we're going to work this way and we're going to feed that way. So if it helps to flip your earring upside down. And the pattern's very basic. It's the same thing. So... Um, same beads on opposite side of this wooden bead, right? So we're going to start off with our Okay, so we're going to start feeding our beads on Blue Flat wooden now just backtracking that pattern so flat blue and your end bead here okay. so we have that already done so i'm just gonna set this down just like that. And now I already cut just a strip. This is kind of just like leftover leather I had laying around. So I cut a strip, um, I fold it in half. I give it a good tug just because it's fresh leather. And I kind of want it to look like um, stretched out kind of look, like not so new, I guess you'd say. So it has like a little bit of a flow. So I'm just gonna do a quick stretch. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over so I have it I have it so that they're even, right? I'm going to flip it over 
in this end piece right here I'm gonna cut in so that I have enough to do um, my loop around there so is that I'm just gonna take off just a little bit of my sides here so I don't know if it'll focus for me but we're just gonna cut this side off so that's all I did you can see my little indents there focus there we go so indents so I just kind of took my scissors and just cut it that way and then I did the same for that and that's just so that like when I go to feed in I can make my loop and it won't um, be as bulky and not only that like I made sure that these are even so when I'm cutting my fringe I want it so that they can equally match up and not me coming so close to the end and then feeling like that fringe is just gonna fall off afterwards so we did that so now we're gonna take this is where it gets a little tricky so we're gonna take this we're gonna feed this on here just like that and I'm gonna come up just a tad so wait until it focuses so I'm coming up just a tad because where this leather is, that's where it's going to sit on the bottom of my hook that I'm creating, right? And now because it is so long, I am going to trim. So I'm going to take my pliers here that have the trim, the like wire cutter on the inside here. And I'm just going to trim just a little bit off the top there. And I'm just kind of evening it out as best as I could and pointing my wire cutters down. Okay, so then I'm going to take it again. I'm going to put this back on here, making sure that it's halfway. Then I'm going to take my pliers here. And this is where it's a little complex. So I'm going to fold in because I want to lock this leather in there. Right. And then I'm going to pinch it in. I'm going to pull my leather now down. And you see how it's kind of got like an odd shape here? So we're just going to fix that. Because we don't want that. Just straighten your earring back out and then I'm just gonna do a quick kind of Okay, so we did our Circle there we have our beads here now to make it easier, I'm going to put the hook on first so then I can cut the fringe. So I'm going to take this, might focus this time so I can show you. Okay, so like I said again, we're not going to pull, we're not going to pull our hook out this way, we're going to push it out away from you right and now we're gonna take this we're gonna take our end well our top and then we're gonna 
flip that over, take our pliers here, and bring that end back towards you. Just like that. So now to do the fringe, I just have one of these. It's just an earring holder. Just kind of makes it a little bit more easier. Oh, there it goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this. And then I'm gonna cut my fringe. I have leather scissors here. Um, if you don't have leather scissors, you use what you have. Okay, so we're just gonna cut. And I'm doing them thin. Hoping that I can get at least three strings. I don't know if I can. Oh, maybe. Now we're gonna do our other side. I'm just gonna cut this. It's just kind of extra. done right and now I have this thin piece here and this is just what I'm going to use to tie so I'm going underneath coming around just creating a knot here and now because this is so thin I'm not going to pull I'm as hard I'm just gonna kind of slowly do it and then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in I have to pick that just because hold on I gotta fix this part because it's showing dark leather <clears throat> And then I'm just going to use my fingernail to kind of just like pull the leather, like these, this knot piece here, just kind of pull it in as best as I can with my nail, not pulling the leather anymore because we do not want it to break. Okay, so then when we're done with that, um, I'm just going to cut this piece a little just because it's... So we're going to take it off of our hook here. We're going to do like just another light stretch. So I'm going to pinch at my end here and I'm going to just do a stretch. Stretch my um, bottoms out here because we want them to fall nice. We don't want them to look real stiff and we want that flow to happen. So from here, we're going to put it back on here. And then I'm just going to trim. So I'm going to put my other side on here as well. And then I'm just going to trim. So I'm just kind of here and there um, on an angle. All different sizes. Right. Okay. Some are long, some are shorter kind of how we want it just nice flow 
Okay, and these are our finish product. They look really nice. Not bad for just kind of finding what we can find and building from there. Let me just clean this up. So, so these are them. They look very nice. Alrighty, and y'all guys for watching and like and share as much as you like. Comment below if you guys have any other ideas that you guys would want to learn or for me to deliver. Um, even if it comes down to different programming ideas, I'm here for all of that. So yeah, I hope you guys have the a good day. Enjoy. The weather here is somewhat okay, and I can't complain because it's not as hot. Um, we do have a nice breeze outside. So I might actually take some things outside and start filming out there. Um, but yeah, have a good day the rest of the day. Enjoy. I hope that you guys thought this was easy. Um, yeah, alrighty, Anna.